And finally, we have uh, Wukong with Intel Arc GPU real gameplay instead of just a benchmark. We're going to test that the card can play at the best settings it can, I mean 30 FPS or 60 FPS depending on the visual quality, from the A310 to the A770. Welcome to Respond PC. I'm Dunk, let's game on. Quick disclaimer, I'm playing on a brand new Windows install with all the update and the drivers up to date without any junkware or malware or whatever Windows wear running in the background. Also want to clarify that the dev did not include any Intel GPU in their minimum or recommended setting. We obviously start with the lowest uh, GPU, which is the Arc A310. This is a four gigabyte card. So we're going to put the settings at the lowest uh, with the FSR enable. We're obviously playing at 1080p. The goal is to reach 30 FPS. And surprisingly enough, we get an average of 36 FPS. This is highly playable. Yes, the GPU is pegged at 100%, that's what we want. And out of the 4GB of uh, VRAM, we're using 6.1 mean that we're using the system memory to uh, compensate the lack of VRAM. I need to be careful because out of my 16 gigabyte of uh, memory, I'm using 13.4 minus what uh, Windows is using in the background. We almost max out on the uh, system memory, but it is clearly a win for the A310. Next step, the A380. Now we're jumping from 4 gigabyte of uh, VRAM to 6 gigabyte of VRAM. I was able to crank the visual setting to medium instead of low, still at 1080p, to get an average of 45 FPS. This is highly playable with way better visual. Yes, we're using almost 7 GB of VRAM out of 6, meaning we're using 1 GB of the system RAM, but that's not as bad as the A310, where it was using almost 3 GB of system memory, which may uh, become a subject to latency and some uh, stuttering. Next up is the A580, which I think is the best uh, Intel Arc uh, GPU so far. We jump uh, from 6GB from the 380 to 8GB. And I was able to push the settings to I to reach a 62 FPS average. This is, I think, will become one of the best uh, aging uh, GPU from Intel so far. The price is uh, quite good. The performance is quite good if you play a recent game. I have no complaint about this card. The only issue is to find one because I have a hard time to just get mine. And for about 150 US or 200 uh, Canadian. Median. This is quite a nice budget card with high performance uh, results. And if you want to push it, you can push the settings to very high at 1080p and uh, FSR enable. And the game is still highly playable because we have 54 FPS. That makes that card very uh, budget friendly to play triple A game when you can get your hands on one. The GPU is not even pegged at 100%. We are at 94, 95% of its position. VRAM is at 8, what it have. So maybe you can crank even more settings. But we're already maxed out, so we're going to switch to 1440p, I guess. So at 1440p, but not at very high settings. Apparently, there's a higher than very high, which called cinematic. Yes, the A580 can run the game 1440p at cinematic with FSR enable, obviously, and we get an average of 44 FPS. This is highly playable for this kind of game. This card really keep uh, surprising me. And to think that the card also support ray tracing. I won't try ray tracing at 1440p cinematic, but maybe you can put that low settings with ray tracing or medium settings with ray tracing. I won't try because this is not a video about ray tracing, but that gives you uh, quite a, an idea how to, how, on how the card will perform. Jumping from the 580, it will be the A750. I have the Elden Ring Edition, which doesn't account for much more than 100 MHz base frequency. Obviously, we start where we left with the A580. I mean, 1440p cinematic visual. With FSR enable, we get 48 FPS. Yes, you heard that right. We have a lower FPS than the A580. I have no idea why. I know we're playing the same scene, but not exactly the same things happening on the screen and 48 to 54 fps there's not a big difference so maybe it was just a run with my 750 was a bit uh, more demanding i have no idea that i said i'm tired to die to just have the same scene replaying with a different card my wukong will be so high level when i finally finish uh, all this testing with those video Still with the A750, I decided to try quickly just uh, ray tracing at uh, low, low ray tracing. And this was horrible. Maybe I should have dropped uh, from cinematic to medium settings or high settings, but at 18 FPS with a mega starter, this is really unplayable. And the last card on the list, uh, the A770. I have the LE edition from Intel, 16 gigabyte of uh, VRAM. We're playing at 1440p, cinematic and FSR enable. And we got the exact same result as the A750, 48 FPS. This is a bit deceiving, to be honest. 
for the price point of the card, the A580 is beating the A770. Maybe the overclock A770 will get a bit more FPS, but right now it's a bit deceiving for those kind of results. And as you can see, the CPU is overkill. Only 11 to 15% of its position. Same go for the memory. 32 gig is too much. But the big advantage the A770 LE have over the A580 or the A570 is it has 16 gigabyte of VRAM and 32 ray tracing core compared to 24 for the A580 and 28 for the A750. It's not a big difference in number, like uh, 32 to 28 and uh, 24 to 28 the number is small but the number of core really matter and on top of that it has 16 gigabyte of vram to put all those uh, retracings uh, whatever asset uh, it's called because now we're using 13 almost 14 gigabyte of vram with retracing on low to reach a 31 fps but i'm still at cinematic dropping to high or medium settings you have a higher fps so this would be a plus for the a770 if you absolutely want retracing you can even push uh, ray tracing to medium, still at cinematic uh, visual at 1440p, and the card will give you a high 20s, which uh, I don't really recommend, but there it is. You can. The should you is another story. And lastly, for what I think is the best uh, setting setup for the A770 LE, will be 1440p high settings with FSR enable. We get a really nice 69 FPS average. You can also enable the uh, ray tracing medium. You will get a mid 50s FPS, but I rather play at higher FPS than having ray tracing. I don't even see the difference, to be honest. Tell me, what are your thoughts about the Intel Arc uh, series GPU? with a new title coming out and the driver coming on day one most of the time. And are you looking to get a A series? Are you waiting for the battle mage to come out? Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. And subscribe.